This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Right, morning everyone. Got to put my exhaust on a quiet mode because it's quite early. Let's start the wrap. Oh, so my alarm decided to not go off. <laughs> no, well, it did, but I forgot to change it. Um, I knew I had an early start today, an earlier start, and I completely forgot to change my alarm. Luckily, I am a weirdo, and if I want to get up at, say, for example, 6 a.m., my first alarm will go off at 4 a.m. So, yeah, my first alarm went off at quarter past four. It's now quarter to five, so, um, yeah. <laughs> We need to get going. Uh, we are gonna. I wanted to be in the yard for five. We're gonna get there for about five. Um, should be okay. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna get on with it, and I'll see you in the yard. Hopefully, after we've done a trailer swap. I'll see you in a bit. Right. Well, I just turned five oh one. Look. So uh, we did arrive. Bang on five. It's now five oh one. Let's go and uh, get done what we need to get done. By the way, this will be a vlog with um, GoPro footage. So if you're looking for GoPro footage, fear not, <laughs> it will be in this video. Right, so the trailer we want is that red flatbed there with that timber on. That's the one we want to get. And uh, we're currently hitched up to another one around the corner. We're currently hitched up to this one here, which I got loaded yesterday. Another flatbed, but uh, netted with some uh, with some stuff on. So we've got to drop this one. It hits up to the other one, and of course, do some daily checks at the same time. And yeah, I did just go to open the door without unlocking it. <laughs> okay, trailer swap done. Checks are done. We're now hitched up to uh, the red flatbed with the timber on. Anyone that we did have has been dropped over there out of the way. So we're going to crack on, jump in the truck, put it into the sat now. I think we might be there just after seven. Let's see. Right, we put it into the sat now. Let's see what time it says we're going to get there. Oh, 6.55 look. We're good. We're good for time. 6.55 down the M4, down the M5, and then we come off Taunton area. Is it Taunton? Can't remember. Can't bothered. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, we're going to come off there and then uh, we'll go through to Mark. You will arrive at your destination at 6.55. Lovely, let's get going. So, next time you see me, we'll be on GoPro footage and uh, we should be just arriving. So I shall see you shortly, see you in a bit. Right, we're about two and a half miles away from our delivery point. Just got to go down some of these uh, windy roads. Let's go. It's, it's better to meet vehicles on the straight bits as opposed to the bends like this. But uh, it's passable. It's not too tight. We don't need to get out. We don't need to check. <laughs> Before to Oh, it's tight. Yeah, we don't need to do any of that stuff. We can get around it, no problem at all. Some wiggly, windy roads. So, as per usual, I don't have a bloody clue what we're doing next. Um, so the boss did say, with the other flatbed trailer that I had to unhitch from this morning, he did say to leave the paperwork in the trailer, so that would indicate that somebody else is delivering that trailer. However, I would not be surprised if, uh, if we go back and hitch back up to it. I wouldn't be surprised at all. So that is uh, a possibility to go back to the yard, drop this trailer off, get that trailer and then deliver that load. That is a possibility, but uh, it might not be. We might be sent somewhere else, I don't know. We won't know until, uh, well, until I'm tipped. And then I text and find out what we're doing. This village, I think it's called Mark. I say I think, I know it's called Mark. And um, it's not a bad village. It's, there's like a pub on a bend, I think, and then a couple of 
seating options outside. It's, uh, it looks like a quiet village. Could be quite nice on a summer's evening. Well, there's a whole uh, caravan park there on the right. Okay, we want to go left here at this stop sign. Shall we indicate left? We need to take quite a wide berth as well to get around this telephone pole. Uh, clear right, clear left, let's go. Lovely jubbly. Let's, uh, let's get past there's a coach. Thank you. This is very good. Nice house. I have house envy. Don't get me wrong, I love my house, but it's not quite the house I wanted. Uh, it costs a lot of money, but it's not quite the house I wanted in terms of looks. The wife very much wanted it. <laughs> I would have been quite happy with uh, a detached house with a big drive and a, a gate <laughs> on the drive. But uh, no, we've had to settle for a semi-detached with a drive barely big enough for three cars. I know three cars is a lot, I know, but I wanted more, <laughs> wanted more space. I would definitely have more cars if I had more space. Look, this is uh, what I meant about nice benches parked outside. Look, White Horse Inn. You can have a nice, uh, a nice evening looking at the stream on the fences, look. Yeah, so the inn is just behind us. Just go around this bend. <coughs> but yeah, I was checking the value of my house the other day, and uh, I've had it, well, we've been there for a year now. <laughs> I think technically the house is worth a little bit less than what we paid for it. <laughs> so it'd be nice if the, uh, the old house price goes back up. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> indicate to go around these cars again. That car comes last minute. Look, yeah, of course it does. Village store and post office. That's when you know you're in a village when you've got a village shop. Obviously. Now I've already committed, mate. I have already committed. Thank you. Old school pamphlet for the fuel. Okay, start indicating left. Where we are delivering is just on the left here, summer lap. That's where we're going. Should be open. Uh, I was told to get here for seven. It's currently 6.58 in the morning. So uh, yeah, we are on time. Lovely. There appears to be a truck in there already being offloaded. So we just park up on the right hand side and uh, we're going to have to wait for them to come out. I'll probably get unstrapped though ready, I would have thought. Yeah, I think I'll take the straps off so we're, uh, we're ready to go in. <laughs> Lovely. So I want to show you about this new thing that they've put on the truck. It's like... It says GPS, but basically there's a thing on the side of the truck and when a vehicle or pedestrian like that that walks down the side, it, uh, it picks it up or in front of the truck as well, actually. I think that's what it was just saying and there was a pedestrian in front of me. So I'm waiting for a pedestrian now or a car to go past me and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, so I've got a pedestrian walking down the side. There we go, so it just picks it up there. That he's on the front left-hand corner when he did. Also got someone walking down the front of me now, look, and it lights up on the front to say there's someone in front. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There we go, someone walking down the side. There we go, picks it up. And it tells you it's a pedestrian as well, look. There's a picture of a pedestrian on there. And when it's a vehicle, it doesn't show the pedestrian symbol. So it's quite clever. It figures out what's, uh, what's coming down. So I'm outside now. I'm actually unstrapping everything. That way it's done then and we can just go straight in. I like most about flatbed work because as soon as these straps are off we can just jump in the truck and uh, we don't have to come back out again. 
don't have to close curtains or anything like that. Get the straps off, sit in the truck, and uh, yeah, crack on when they tipped us. There's a truck in there already, so uh, we can't get in, I always we would. <laughs> Also, when I turned up, someone goes to me and goes, uh, are you that bloke off of TikTok? <laughs> Which I'm getting a lot now. Rather than, are you the bloke off YouTube, it's, are you the bloke off TikTok? Um, yeah. So, uh, maybe if you don't follow me on TikTok, now's your chance, because that's where I'm starting to get recognised from more and more now. It is probably more TikTok now than it is YouTube, which is mad. As soon as I started this career, HGV diving and creating videos a good eight years ago, I started on, on YouTube and uh, I'm starting to become, starting to become known as the TikTok guy instead. <laughs> right, we are in now and we're getting unloaded. Just about tail there, look. So um, yeah, I don't know what we're doing from here. The signal is not the best in terms of phone signal and internet signal. So I, I'm, thinking I'm probably gonna have to just head out back towards the M5 uh, past the village get some more signal and then I can make a phone call and find out where I'm going I'll send a whatsapp message now um, but it, it might not received it will be received by the boss until uh, until I get signal because right now I have none I spoke to the driver behind me and he doesn't know so uh, I'm just gonna walk down here and find out I think it might be this place. I reckon it is. Let's find out. Um, right, so we are in the right place and the two trucks in front of us aren't actually in front of us, they're going somewhere else. So we're going straight in, baby. So I think I know where I've got to go. It's slightly changed. But uh, go down there and turn right, pretty, pretty much. Yeah, so I've just been told to come in here, park in this hatch um, line here, look. So that's where I'm gonna go. And presumably get loaded with the slate either side of us. Lovely jubbly. I am just going to go slightly further forward just so I can see <laughs> the exit. So I want to see how I get back out of here. I think... I'm not entirely sure if I've come in the wrong way or not. So... We're staying this way for now. <laughs> and we just wait for someone to come over to us. If we are facing the wrong direction, then obviously we're spin round. Yes. But yeah, we are in the right place. That was complete guesswork with a little bit of previous knowledge, I guess, of the area. Um, so yeah, it's all been it's all been updated. They've got new port cabins and everything. Same staff, I recognise the staff. So that's when I was like, oh, this has got to be the right place. So I gave them the reference number. The paperwork was right on the top. They were expecting me to come in. It's all good. Um, don't actually know where I'm going other than Park Royal. I don't have a delivery address, um, but... I did go to Park Royal uh, in 2020, like a good four years ago. And I went to, I think it was SSQ in Park Royal. So I'm going to assume it's the same place. Right, I was facing the wrong way. So I just had to spin around. Fort Lift driver comes up and he was laughing. I was like, yeah, I know what he's gonna say. <laughs> um, he said, I've never seen this before. So thanks for making me look, <laughs> feel silly. No one else done it before. Uh, yeah, so I've come in the wrong way. Anyway, I spun around. I'm now facing the right way. Uh, I guess from here, just go strap up, grab paperwork, and then and then crack on. I guess. Right. So yeah, we are in. We are getting loaded. You can see there, we've got two on, and uh, you can see what I mean now by SSQ. It says it on the um, pallets themselves. I remember from the last time I did it. So uh, yeah, and I've just googled again where we're going. I'm pretty sure I have been there before. Google says it's on the left, but I actually think it's on the right. So uh, just done a little bit of research. But yeah, we're going to strap up and then uh, crack on. Right, we're loaded. And um, just know it actually says the address. Well, I'm assuming this is where we're going. Park Royal, London, NW10 7SS. I assume that's where we're going. I'm going to grab our paperwork now and uh, get it confirmed. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below.
Right. We are about a mile away, just over a mile away now from our delivery point. Let's get out of this tunnel. The aircon on this truck is sort of packed in again, so I've got to have the windows down to try and uh, try and keep cool. <laughs> Coming off here. Lovely, they went last minute, didn't they? Okay, we're gonna go right at this roundabout. Let's move over lanes. I've just been speaking to uh, to Kieran and there's been a lot of work at a Hyde Park BST festival has been and gone and uh, there was uh, quite a lot of material that went into Hyde Park but anyway now it's all got to come out and it's only around the corner really from where we are so I've got a very high suspicion that from here Park Royal we will be going to um, Hyde Park to pick up some stuff to go back to Swindon I would have thought I am like 90% sure that's what's going to happen and I haven't even been told. Haven't even been told that, but I suspect that is what is going to happen. We'll find out when we get here. I'll send a text message and find out. But for now, let's get this delivered. Half a mile to go. We've been stuck in quite a lot of traffic on the way. There's roadworks happening on that main road, the A40. It's just causing chaos, but now we're out of it. It's fine, look. Where are you going? Not indicating. Go, go, go. And as I was saying earlier, I'm sure we sort of pull up, it's on the right hand side, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we reverse in. There is a waiting space, I think, just past it. But it's whether it's free. It could be busy down here. It could be very busy down here. Let's have a look. looks like one of those places where lorries will be queuing up all over the place. Gonna go left. Okay, we want to go right here. Is that where the lorry is, or...? Nope. There's a lorry there, and I thought we had to go right then where that is. This looks tighter than I remember, but never mind. Down here we go. Right. Yeah, there is a lorry down here, look, on the right hand side. That is pretty much where we want it to be. This does look familiar now that I've come down here. Hazards on. Okay, I think actually we want to be in front of that lorry. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it's here. I don't know where they're tipping us. It must be on the road. Let's see what this bloke says, he wants me to go back. Right, straps are off now. I'm just gonna grab the paper from the truck, give them to the forklift driver, who is already unloading me, which is good. And then we're gonna scout the, uh, the, the area that we turn around at. Right, so there we are, parked on the road there. Just gonna go scout the turning area. So either we go left, reverse back, which is gonna be tight, obviously we're in there, or we go right and then reverse back. Either way, it looks tight. There's no space up here, look. 
I think he's going to be reversing all the way in. So yeah, we're going to have to go turn left, reverse back to where he is, and then sort of drive back round again, face the other direction, and then they can tip the other side. It's a bit tight for space. People just got to be cautious of each other and, you know, share the road. But yeah, there she is, getting unloaded. Yeah, it's very tight for space. There's a few drivers shouting at each other, so... Uh, <laughs> It's going to be interesting when we got to do it as well. I'll film it. Hopefully it's easy. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I still haven't been told yet where we're going, but look how close Hyde Park is to where we are. It ain't far. There's a bit of traffic, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's not far away. So I'm going to make a phone call now and find out whether it is or not that we are going there. We're only seven miles away. Seven miles, which will take 37 minutes, according to this. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? I can be so close to something, but it also takes so long to get there. It's mad. London for you. Yep, just been confirmed. Definitely 100% Hyde Park. It was kind of obvious. You get, you've been doing the job that long, you sort of, you get an idea of what's gonna be planned. Like, I know there's stuff coming out of Hyde Park. I know I'm just around the corner. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that I'm probably gonna be sent there next. So that's good. Um, well, Depending on how long it takes for us to get out of here and get there, we should be there by two-ish, I would have thought. And um, out of there by three, fingers crossed, and then yeah, back in Swindon, not long after five. You can tell I'm hot though, I'm sweating. We've got one more lift to come off on the left side and then we can move on over. Right, he's done, just the last one off. So we are now going to Foxtrot Oscar out of here and make our way to Hyde Park. I will see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Right, full disclosure, we have been here for about half an hour. We've been in the waiting area, held up behind all of these trucks. They've just called me through, so... Oh, where do you want me, mate? Uh, the the other one, yeah? Behind him, yeah? yeah. Will do. So, for some reason, they've called me up over past all these, but want me to park up behind this one. Oogity doogity. I was hoping we were going to go in because, like I said, we've been here for half an hour now in the, in the waiting area. Now, then they called me forward. I was like, ah, I'll start filming. <laughs> but now they're saying, wait here again. Would be surprised if uh, they tell me to go forward again, to be honest. We will see. Right, I have had a phone call. I've been here for quite a while now, actually. <laughs> Uh, well, not mm, 45 minutes, not too long. I have had a phone call from Johnny saying, come on down. So I just went to go and then matey boy said, no, wait for him to give you a thumbs up. So now we're waiting for one of the buggies to come and collect us because we need to be escorted in because we literally drive through Hyde Park and it's, it's open. There are pedestrians. Um, yeah, in a moment you'll see. You shall see what I shall see. So I'm just waiting, just sort of scouting up ahead now to see whether uh, anyone's going to wave me down or anything. Right, is he going to tell me to go on down? Hopefully he is. Yeah, he's, he just phoned me up to say, come on down. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> it comes in handy, that bike, I expect, doesn't it? <laughs> just, he told me to go, and then <laughs> he just he cycled right in front of me. Well, at least we're skipping all these trucks. Because they'd be picking up something else, like stage equipment or something. So i just got to go wait in the middle now. Right there. Yeah, that's it, mate. I better put my eyes on ready. I'll just jump out then. Johnny just phoned me. <laughs> Don't follow you. Yeah, wow. Uh, <laughs> Right, 
Yeah, so they just said something about they're expecting the curtain cider. Well, I'm in a flatbed, so. Uh, I'll uh, give them a quick call now. Welcome to the O2 messaging service. No. The person you He's not answering. So this is what I mean, we are literally driving through Hyde Park with pedestrians either side of us. We have to be careful because some will not move out the way. Some will, some won't. We'll try and give space to those who, uh, who need it. But most people can just uh, move on to the grass, but they don't. We go out a different way till we come in as well. We get spat out on the other side of the park. There's an inbuilt sat nav saying it's unsuitable for HGVs down here. So this next bit is where it gets interesting because it's a left turn but I need to get over to the right to make the left turn but the buggies never get over to the right, they stay to the left so I'm then having to get close to pedestrians with no escort. situational awareness we're in uh, airpods any so uh, I got some myself and they literally are noise cancelling you don't hear anything great anyway I'm gonna turn this camera off and I will see you once stuff is going on uh, so yeah see you in a bit right we are in, we got five pods going on, five disabled pods and one tank, which would be two straps on the tank. Uh, so seven straps needed, so we've got the straps out ready to go. Can't see, my hands in the way. Seven straps there, seven ratchets there, there. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. Someone just spotted me over there, shout out my name. So shout out to whoever's driving that truck, AC services. Don't wanna, don't wanna get you on camera because you might not wanna be on camera, but you're loading the uh, power units. So, I might see you in a second, I don't know. But here you are, thanks for watching, do appreciate it. Obviously we are both busy, both got our own stuff to load and crack on with, so yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's get loaded. Right, we've got two on so far. Third one is coming over now, look. That's the third one to go on. We'll get that whacked on, throw another strap over. And then, uh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa all that happening. Get that one on and then we'll uh, strap that one up. But. Right, that's four on now, fifth one going on. And then, uh, then one tank. One, two, three, four, five. We're just waiting for the tank. Over there somewhere. I swear it's cooler out here because there's a wind it's nicer out here than it is in the truck because the aircon's not working. It's a moist day today. Okay, and that's just loaded. Tank on the back. Five of those white pods. We've got to try and get out of here now. It's uh, bloody manic. <laughs> right, we're loaded. Engine on. Let's get out of here. Ugh. 
Right, I think we are given the green light, we can go. Get on out of here. Cheers, Axe. Cheers, Axe. Oh, that's a barbecue. It smells lush. Oh, oh, that smells lovely. Oh, I'd love a barbecue right now. So, yeah, we'll, uh, so we'll just slowly drive out of here, put our hazards on as well to make us slightly more visible. I don't know, like, the, the buggy, there's a buggy in front, of the, in front of the lorry in front, right? But he's sticking to the left, but the trees hang to the left, and I'm tall. I'm taller than that truck. I don't think they really take into consideration that I am a tall truck. So, yeah, I am slightly hanging over. Could just easy as that, drive on out, look. Luckily it's not too busy. Oh that was a lovely bit of breeze and I just had then. Move out the way people. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. It's getting out of this road, which is a nightmare. You have to push yourself out. But I'm kind of a bit generous as well. I don't want to push too hard. Thank you very much. As long as one gives way to, normally they all do. Excellente. Right, we can turn the beacons off now, we don't need them. And then we can slowly make our way out of here. See, that taxi did not let me out, but I'm going to let him out. I'm a kind and courteous driver. <laughs> This is the bit which becomes annoying because this this lane goes straight on and the right hand side lane is a right only turn and then you get all these vehicles try and push in last minute. Which again, I don't mind letting some in but when it becomes everybody it then starts to take the mick a bit, do you know what I mean? Plus you've got vehicles on the left like taxis and buses have to merge in pretty much as well because there's coaches parked up. becomes a bit of a free-for-all. Right, so you want to get in as well, that's what I said. Everyone decides to merge at the last moment. <coughs> no, no, you can get stuff, mate. I've let two cars out. Do you know what I mean? It's right lane only, but they wait until the last minute. I think I was quite courteous. I let more than two cars out. I think I let a taxi out as well. It's just three cars I've let <laughs> come into my lane. And then you get more. <laughs> Wait, we've got to be careful of these taxis on the left as well. So this is Park Lane. If anyone plays Monopoly, this is part lane. There's actually an Aston Martin dealership up here somewhere, or we already passed it. I'd love to visit the Aston Martin garage in Park Lane and buy one. <laughs> I don't like it when buses come down the left side very fast. I've just moved it over. 
So we've got another lane where it's right lane only. That red car just cut in last moment. We've got no one else down our right hand side just yet, so we should be okay. But we are just keeping an eye out for it. Okay, let's see if we can get around here without having an accident. Van cuts the corner. We have to cut the corner because we're a long load. Got no option but to cut the corner. The van driver was just being lazy. I think there's a little bit of traffic down this road because there's some temporary traffic lights but uh pretty much like the worst of london done with now a little bit of traffic here a little bit of traffic getting onto the a40 and on the a40 until we get to the m25 then we come down to the m4 that's the way i normally go back anyway so he is pretty much done so i will see you we've got to take this back to swindon i'm not sure if we're getting this off tonight or not because we won't be back until half past five so i'm not entirely sure if anyone's actually going to be there but uh, I'll, uh i'll see you back in swindon nonetheless in a few hours time see you in a bit right full disclosure it's actually the next day uh i've been home had a shower and today is uh so yeah it took well over three hours to get back to swindon from hyde park yesterday there was traffic on the a40 there was traffic on the M4, M25 split. There was traffic on the M, uh, M40 as well, just before you got onto the M25. There was just traffic everywhere, everywhere. No matter where I went, <laughs> I was just stuck in traffic. By the time I got back to the yard last night, it was quarter past six. So no one was here to offload. So uh, here we are, we're here today, Friday morning, and we are offloading. It's a beautiful day today. It's gonna be nice and warm and sunny. Can't wait to get today over and done with because I am then off for four days. Uh, no, five, sorry, five days. Five days, which would be nice. So just to show you again what we got on, so we had five of these on. There's the fifth one there, and we had one black tank, which has just been taken off and put over there in the background. So that one's now coming off. We're gonna carry on taking off these ratchet straps, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be done. Okay, so that is going to be it for me. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, this is trouble when it's been uh, a couple of days maybe recording. I forget what I've done. So, <laughs> so we always done that run there. Oh, we went to uh, Park Royal, didn't we, as well? And got the uh, the slate tipped off. We went to Portby Docks, which uh, had all been changed around and never, never been there for a couple of years. So that was all new. And we went to Summer Lap as well, didn't we? First thing in the morning in this video. So yeah. That's what we've done. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, uh, and definitely subscribe as well. I need to I need to try and get up to 80,000 subscribers. I'm getting close. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I really would appreciate it. Anyway, until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.